We are back here on Girl Talk, and woo, we do. Guess what we have today? We always say cute Dr. Boy. Thomas Horn. Oh. <laughs> I know, he's so cute, isn't he? We like, we like he, is, <laughs> he is a plastic surgeon here with us today from Finger & Associates. Thank you for joining us. Thank and you're actually me. here not to give us consultations, but to actually chat about an event that um, you all are hosting. Mm -hmm. We, for the last five years, have started with the Savannah Women's Show, and it has really sort of bloomed and sort of gone into a sort of our main contact for patients and stuff because it's an informal way to meet people to talk to them and stuff and we offer a variety of services there that people can see they can use and see you know well I don't want to have surgery well there's a lot of different things that people can have mm -hmm. besides surgery from the non to just normal skin care mm -hmm. and, right. and we sort of start you know if you have healthy skin and you take care of your skin you know it's the only skin you have you have to take care of it and, and certainly an ounce of prevention Exa for maintenance yeah. goes a long, long way. Tom, we were talking before in the first segment, so when you watch mm -hmm. this, you'll be like, oh. oh. <laughs> well, talking about embracing your age, looking your age, but maybe we how the trend is not to it. go with the big lips and the, the mm -hmm. you know, obviously that looks better, but obviously it looks <laughs> better. <laughs> to make that really happen might be more difficult than you think. So is it going with a more natural type of a, a face? Well, yeah. our philosophy, yeah, so every plastic surgeon has a different philosophy on what they consider looks good aging wise mm -hmm. and certainly balancing your philosophy with the patient's expectations are certainly one of the most important things. The way that we sort of Dr. Finger started and Dr. Huntley and I have sort of taken on is we're not making you and want you to look different. Okay. We want you to look better. The right. best right. we can look and, for and our age. So for you. From yeah. us, like when you say, okay, well, can you tell who's had a facelift? Well, you can tell who's had a bad one. Yeah. Oh, because, yeah. you know, it, it, That's it's, fair. it's a yeah more of an insult for us if we sit there and someone comes up to you and says nice facelift mm -hmm. you know it's more yeah. of, more of a yeah, compliment like, for someone who sees you good. hasn't seen you in a while and says yeah. what have you done your hair yeah. looks different right. you look more rested and so on and, and we're so, sitting here talking about a lot of cosmetic things but mm -hmm. that's not always what you all do you do a lot of things that are also health and wellness related correct i mean we do a majority uh, probably a third of my practice is breast reconstruction and breast cancer um, and so we do a significant amount of breast and breast work in addition to the aesthetic work that we do. I mean, it's sort of, there's a fine line between the two, mm -hmm. um, and certainly one leads into the other, but it, it certainly makes a big difference. In, in Is it also, it, oh, sorry, uh, I was uh, also uh, with like skin cancers. I know someone, um, mm -hmm. obviously we know Sarah, mm -hmm. who went um, and had a problem with her nose, and so um, I think Dr. Huntley fixed her nose, but, but, right. but um, skin cancers and right. things like so that. Skin cancers and yeah. aesthetically pleasing different areas on the mm -hmm. face and stuff, you mm -hmm. have to have a significant amount of consideration because, you know, once you're done with the skin cancer and once you've healed over it and yeah. you have it excised, you don't want anybody to notice it. You don't want the scars to be there. You don't want the stigmata mm -hmm. of everybody for the rest of your life. Oh, really? Especially on women, whenever they have something, the worst thing you can do on a woman when you reconstruct or take a skin cancer out is leave a dimple because oh. they will complain about it because it collects makeup. It's always oh, there. Yeah. It always, you know, lights always shine. What can we expect at this show? Well, at the show, I want to go. We, I think it sounds good. We have a variety of different things. Dr. Finger, Huntley, and I, and myself, are always there, along with our anestheticians and our staff. One of the simplest things that we offer to everybody there is free of charge. Is we offer what's called a Vizia complexion analysis. And that sounds scary. Yeah. Yeah. Is, it's <laughs> Look at us. We're like, yes. It's a, it's a machine that you put your face in, mm -hmm. and the, the computer. Yeah. Does it, it make it blue and stuff? or? Um, no, it just basically, you, it almost looks like a big egg that has an ultralight camera in it and a couple other cameras, and it takes a very close-up picture of your face and looks at your face sort of based on six principles, your pores, your bacteria, the amount of wrinkles you have, the amount of sunspots you have, damage to your skin, and compares you against everybody else your age. Yeah. And, and, and so it spits out a percentage. <laughs> mm -hmm. in it, it could be good, it could be bad, and it's just like taking a test. If it says you're in the 90th percentile, well, it's like 90, getting a 90 on a okay. test. And But what we serve it as is Dr. Finger's and I's obsessions have always been skin and skin care. Mm -hmm. And Dr. Finger used to be the largest seller of Obagi, and oh. he sort of took Obagi to sort of the next step. And the reason why we use the complexion analysis is that we guarantee people that have and start our program within three to six months, those numbers will improve wow. on your visit. And, and that's what we do to march people along. It's one thing for me to say, 
I think your face looks better, I think this looks less. It's another that has a computer that has no vested Measure, interest right, in it. Yeah. Right. Just to spread, it's, it's gonna spit out what it sees right. and you know, that's it. And people, we bought these machines actually from other practices that were using, but what would happen is people would get their picture, they would right. be sold in whatever skincare product they're pushing, six months later they would repeat it and their numbers would be the same. A and so, so this you is end more quantitative. Up with a, yeah, and then, so you really kind of end up with a aggravated patient, patient right. because now they just spent a thousand dollars or so with you, and, and they basically have no improvement. So you have been practicing for eleven years. Mm -hmm. So you're a seven-year-old little boy saying, "Gee, mom, you look pretty cool. I want to, <laughs> <laughs> I want to be a surgeon when we get up and make sure." I mean, yeah, I'm a, I grew up in a medical family. Oh, did you? Okay. So it was just sort of the natural. We did too, but so we're not we. doctors. <laughs> no, I'm just teasing. You had to have some type of a, just a natural. Yeah, you have a drive You for do. It. So, I mean, it, you have to. Why I did mean, you choose plastic surgery? Plastics I like because every single day is different. Yeah. yeah. I mean, there's no, um, I was a general surgeon before I was a plastic surgeon. And, you know, in general surgery, you know, there's only one way to take a gallbladder out. Right, right. And, and you know, no one really cares about what you do on the inside because no one can see it. Right. Um, you know, on the face, the, the attention to detail, the mm -hmm. amount of what people want, and talking, you know, before I really do anything, especially surgical-wise in a patient, I talk to them at least three separate times because you can't ask somebody in the middle of an operation, do they like something yeah. or mm -hmm. don't like something. Yeah. And so you really kind of have to get yourself on the same mindset that okay. they are. Completely. And, and an artist. Right, it is, and yeah. I was gonna say, I don't mean to keep going back to the show, but I think what you're doing is giving us mm -hmm. as consumers an opportunity to come in informally and sort of find out what you do. Yes, ma'am. So do you flash yeah. up 90 on the screen so someone's like, oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> you kind of have no, to hide it's that, right? It's like it's getting it. on the weight machine. We have, we have oh. little, little areas set up that we can talk to you in, in, in semi-private. Mm -hmm. area and going over things and, and I think it's sort of a great icebreaker because going to and sort of taking yeah. that next step mm -hmm. There is um, no everything. way he only has a minute left. I'm oh, no, thinking no, no, 10 minutes, 12 minutes. <laughs> so, you know, we use it to meet people and say, okay, well, you know, I think you could improve your face by X, Y, or Z, mm -hmm. you know, and, and these are subtle changes that you can do to improve. And, and, you know, not everything, everybody needs surgery, not everybody wants surgery. Mm -hmm. But there are other answers from just simple skin care all the way up through fillers and Botox and Restylane and, and whatnot to sort of help people's appearance. Now, Tom, I know we're going to be putting things on the, on the um, screen about okay. time and date, but just mm -hmm. briefly again, when and where? It's at the Civic Center, which is right next to the Westin. Mm -hmm. um, it's Friday, I believe it starts at noon mm -hmm. and goes to 8, mm -hmm. all day Saturday and all day Sunday till about 6. Oh, it sounds okay. great. It's yeah. exciting. It sounds like a wonderful exciting. opportunity. And, and, and in addition to us that are there, I mean, there's a variety. I mean, it's every time I sit there, I buy something or bring something home that you think you didn't need. Well, of course. And, and <laughs> exactly. So, so it's a lot of fun. I mean, typically people come and stay two or three hours usually because it is a lot yeah. to see. And before we go, I only know we have about 30 seconds. Yes, As a man, do you find men are becoming more and more in tune with their skin care, you know, their... Yes, I mean, probably it used to be a very small segment of our patients and now it's growing almost monthly. You have great skin. Yeah, oh, okay. you do. You so, th so this is good. not just for women. This is not yeah. for women only. This yeah. is really right. for men and women. Thank you so much for joining us. Stay back. We have a lot more to come here on Girl Talk. Sponsored by and filmed on location at J Banks Design, the fresh and innovative retail destination. Also sponsored by The Greenery, serving our community since 1973. And by Powerhouse Gym Family Fitness, motivation, confidence, and strength for a healthier, more successful you.